Hello everyone. Recently I was given a hand-me-down Nighthawk R7000 and I noticed I wasn't getting my full internet speeds with it. So in this video I'm going to show you the steps I did to fix this and some uh, important considerations. So as you see here, using fast.com through my Nighthawk router, it's only getting 150 down. Now I'm paying for 400 down. This seems to be a common issue with these uh, Nighthawk routers. I've found a few forum posts, but I haven't seen many videos about it. The short and sweet version is that you're going to need to revert your router's firmware back to an older version. I, uh, I work in IT and the person I got it from also works in IT. So we did the, uh, the normal thing and updated and reset firmware when I went to set it up. And that apparently is the wrong thing if you have speeds faster than 150. On speed tests, you see I'm getting 200, but I'm still paying for 400. And that is not what my router is giving me. I first discovered this problem when I was trying to download Steam games and it wasn't giving me the 400 down. I spent hours and hours troubleshooting thinking, oh, is it something with my computer? I spent hours troubleshooting with the router seeing maybe there's some setting that's messed up or maybe there's a bad cable somewhere. But I've tried on multiple computers, multiple connections. Still, the only thing that fixed it was reverting the firmware. The version that worked for me was 1.0.7.10 underscore 1.2.3. It's from 2017, so it is quite old. It is missing a lot of security fixes, so do this at your own risk. Um, if your internet speeds are not faster than 150, I recommend having the latest firmware. Before you downgrade to an older version, make sure you are also getting the speeds you should be from your ISP. So I unplugged my computer from my router and plugged it directly into the modem. And that's what this speed test is here. You'll see that I am going to get 400 down, which means something is wrong with my router and not the ISP. And now that that's out of the way, I'll show you how to downgrade your Nighthawk R7000 firmware, or it works with any Netgear router, but specifically, I'm having this issue with the Nighthawk R7000 router. First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is go to Netgear's site and download the firmware you want. The firmware that worked best for me was 1.0.7.10. In this clip, I'm downloading 0.12, but the steps are the same no matter which version you pick. Uh, I've gone through a few of these and I found that 1.0.7.10 is the newest one that I could run that gave me 400 down. Once you have it downloaded, extract the zip. Um, I just extracted it to my downloads folder and then we will need to log in to the router. To log into the router, open Chrome and then go to routerlogin.net. You'll be asked for a username and password. The username should be admin. The password will be whatever you created when you initially started it. Um, default, it's password. If you don't remember your password for this, uh, you'll have to do a factory reset by hitting the button in the back of the router with a paperclip or something else sharp, unless you remember your security questions. When you get into your router, you're gonna go to advanced, administration, router update, and then you're gonna click on the browse button and then find the file you downloaded earlier, uh, .chk file. After you select your file, go ahead and click Upload, click OK. Warning, click Yes. After you click Yes, you'll get a little waiting screen. Just go ahead and wait through this. I'm going to speed it up. After it finishes updating, it's going to need to reboot. So I will fast forward through this as well. This can take up to two minutes.
after it finishes rebooting, it's gonna go through a factory reset. So this is where you're going to select a new password and new security questions. I recommend you write this down somewhere or memorize it. If you needed to factory restart earlier because you forgot your password, this will look the same because it's the exact same process. Some versions require a factory restart after a uh, new firmware, but some don't. So after you're done, hit next, and then you'll be put on the screen where it gives you all your information. Go ahead and click next, and then hit next again. Then some more loading. You can go ahead and cancel out of this. It's gonna try to do an automatic update. We don't want that and we are on the version that we want. Feel free to close out of this Netgear account. You don't have to register, you can. You might have already registered. You can go back to your uh, 192 address or router login address and your firmware should be correct. And if you see here, I'm testing my speed. Only got 150 was fast still. I don't know why that is, but with the speed test, it slowly but surely is creeping up past what it has been. I don't know why it's so slow, but 350 to 400 is more what I expect to see. And again, the upload is fine. Now the real test is Steam, and we're looking for the network usage current to jump to 400. As you see there, it instantly jumps up to 250, 300. 340, 350. And as you can see, it's performing much better now with the older firmware. And I can download games again. So hopefully, if you're having the same problem, you have faster than a 150 megabit down download speed and a Netgear R7000 Nighthawk, hopefully this video has helped you. Unfortunately, this fix isn't, you know, perfect because you are missing out on quite a few years of security updates and quite a few years of new features. You don't get Q of S. Uh, you don't get a few other things, but I've been using the 1.0.7.10 underscore 1.2.3 firmware for a few weeks now and I haven't noticed any, any abnormal hitches and it's been a lot better for me. So yeah, hopefully this helps and hopefully your internet speeds are gonna be back to what you should be getting, what you should be paying for. Thanks Netgear. Thanks for the updates that have severely crippled my equipment and look suspiciously like planned obsolescence.